Hello everybody. Today I did the leak test, the final leak test on the right tank. And just like the left tank, also the right tank is completely leak free. So now we can continue with the leading edges. I started by riveting the topmost rivets of all the ribs because those were doable with the squeezer, the pneumatic squeezer. As you can see it's uh, getting colder because I keep my coat on. In the afternoon my dad ca came to help me. So we'll shoot that shortly. I use the clamps to uh, keep the skin closer to the ribs. I can only do one rivet on every side because that's the furthest the squeezer can go. The yoke of the squeezer can reach in there. Okay, in the afternoon my dad was there and we do it with the, the rest we have to do with the rivet gun and the bucking bar. Just as with the tanks, I uh, use the bucking bar on the inside and my dad uses the rivet gun on the outside. Fortunately the leading edges are much much easier than with the uh, wing tanks because you don't have all the uh, sealant that you need to apply. So this takes less than one hour per leading edge, so that's quite fast. We have to do, um, we use three and a half rivets, but only on this, this side, so the this side where we're working on now, we use four, and the reason is that there is this extra flange that is needed to attach the tank to and so it's one piece of aluminum extra so you need rivets of length four the rest again we can do three and a half especially the most bottom one on the uh, on the top side of the leading edge is hard as you can see every time you have to shift the cradle we do it here because else there's no the angle is, is, is too steep for the rivet gun. I actually fell from <laughs> from the table. You can only see it in a few uh, in a few shots. And uh, yeah, that was not very funny. I missed the little stair, so there's a little stair I have on the uh, behind me, and I didn't look carefully so I uh, I tripped luckily I uh, fell gently to the floor so that was okay I think it's happening here somewhere Yeah, here with the bottom one, man. Here I'm going down. Bang! Yeah, yeah, it was very quick. Fortunately, it's uh, it's time lapse, right? So you can, you can't see me falling on the floor. Okay. It goes very fast because uh, yeah, it's quite easy to do. Although uh, my back and knee hurt after this because it's not very convenient. But what the hell? Okay, finished. Leading. Oh crap! Bottom side. Right. So you're currently looking at the left wing. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually the right way, I see. Um, yeah, after this, we are going to uh, look into the plants and see um, what to do next. Uh, because we're actually quite far now with the wings. Uh, of course, we need to do all the flaps and uh, ailerons, but uh, we've prepared everything to start working on the wing skins and leading edges. So, we were a little discussing on what to, what to do next, and we decided to uh, start with the uh, skins. The skins overlap, uh, I mean the inboard and the outboard skins, they overlap. And where they overlap, uh, the manual says that you have to trim them down on the front side to, uh, well, I guess to reduce drag. It's where the, uh, the tank skin hits the, uh, the double uh, wing skin. So we looked into it and we decided not to take too much off. And we tried different things. So um, we first tried it with a kind of um, a drill. Ah, that really wasn't working very well. It took off too uh, little uh, material. So I decided to use the scotch part wheel. So I moved the scotch bright wheel on the grinder machine and decided to try it. Worked out quite nice. I didn't go too far because I was afraid that I might uh, yeah, take off too much material and break later. So I was a little conservative I think. We did some measurements and um, yeah, good enough. And we decided also to do the, the ridge of the whole top side. It wasn't necessary, according to the manual, but I, I liked it much better. Um, we do the same for the top skin. We did the bottom skin of the right wing and the top skin of the left skin. Next time we have to do top skin of the right skin and the bottom skin of the left skin. Then we can start applying the skins to the wings. Continuing building my pie in the sky.